I am Adil Kumar. We are going to practice how to solve quadratic equations in this particular video. The equation given to us is 1 minus 5x squared divided by 4 equals 2 minus 31. In this kind of an equation, the best strategy to use is cross multiply, right? So cross multiplication helps to solve such equation. Okay. So what does that mean? It means you multiply the number on the right by the denominator 4 here and you are left with 1 minus 5x squared on the left side. So once you do this cross multiplication, uh, let me rewrite here, 1 minus 5x squared over 4 equals to minus 31. So we are multiplying minus 31 by 4, we are left with 1 minus 5x squared equals to minus 31 times 4, right? Effectively, we are multiplying both sides by 4. Think like this. We effectively, we are multiplying both sides by 4. This 4 and this 4 cancels. So you get 1 minus 5x squared here and that gets multiplied. I hope this step is clear, right? Now I just simplify it. So we have 1 minus 5x squared equals to 4 times this, which is minus 124. Now you have to bring all the terms together to one side. What you should really ensure is keep leading coefficient positive, right? So we'll bring this term to the right side. So we're left with zero here, bringing all of them to the right side. Writing them in proper order is important. Highest degree first. So we'll get 5x squared. We already have minus 124. And we'll write minus 1 here, correct? Okay. That gives you 5x squared minus 125 as your quadratic equation equal to 0. Now let us see how to solve this equation. So I'll actually follow two strategies to solve this equation. Strategy 1 is, let me rewrite the equation, 5x squared minus 125 equal to 0. We could factor, right? If I factor 5, I get x squared minus 125 divided by 5, it is 25 equals to 0. Now 5 cannot be 0. The only inside part could be 0. That is to say x square minus 25 equals to 0 or x square equals to 25 or x is equals to square root of 25. Is it okay? Whenever you do square root, you have to take both positive and negative. Minus 5 square is also 25. Correct? So you get plus minus 5. That is one way of doing it. All right? Alternate method, you guessed it, right? We could have taken this on the right, that on the left. So the alternate method will be, how? I prefer the factoring method, right? The alternate method is, we could write this example as 5x squared, taking 125 to the right equals to 125, x squared equals to 125 divided by 5, which is 25. And now taking square root will give us x equals to plus minus square root of 25. And the answer is exactly same, plus minus 5. Correct? So that is how you could actually solve this kind of a question. I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Do some practice questions. And feel free to share comments. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.